What's good, family? Welcome back to another episode of the Mobile Home Elite Podcast. I'm your host, the charming mobile home mogul, Byron Sellers. And I'm super excited to be back with another podcast uh, to pretty much, you already know, put you along game and do me a favor. Make sure you subscribe and follow us on any platform that you listen to your favorite podcast. Now, today we're talking about I got put into Facebook jail. How do I get out? Damn. Now, here's the thing. I know the reason why you got in Facebook jail, especially when it comes to mobile homes. Now, here's the thing. We used to have a strategy where we used to teach you all how to put up ghost ads, right? Where we had you go in the marketplace. We had you take some pictures off, you know, Google and put up a post. And now that's how you get leads. Well, here's the thing. You can't do that anymore. Times have changed. If you had my first course and we were teaching that strategy, trust me, I would start flooding the market. But unfortunately, you start having more scammers. You start having more people that started to take this strategy and were really getting over on people. So Facebook had to clean it up. This is not an actual home. And so in the marketplace, unfortunately, if you were caught putting up a home that was not yours or you can pretty much get put in Facebook jail, you can get your rights from selling on the marketplace. You can lose that. And so that's why I created this today. It's because we want to talk about a few things on how to pretty much help you get out that situation. And I'm going to give you some new strategies that you can use. So then that way you're not using that older strategy and you're not posting in the marketplace unless you have an actual home. So you got put in the Facebook jail. How do you get out? Well, let's talk about how to get out. First, you want to do, you just want to view the, the, their guidelines, right? And one thing they don't want you to do, they don't want you putting anything that you don't have for sale. Meaning, so once you put that up, you make that description, you put a price, all of that stuff. Yeah, they not, they not rocking with that no more. So that's not really a way to test it unless you have an actual asset. So you can always repeal the restriction, right? If you already, that happened to you, you go to the help center and then you want to search for uh, appealing a marketplace restriction. And there's some special, uh, specific instructions on how to proceed. Okay. You can also contact Facebook support, you know, make your appeal. If you have to tell them, Hey, this is, this is part of my marketing strategy. Hey, I'll follow the rules, but you can visit the help center and then you want to get to the appropriate section to basically find some contact options. Okay. So you will have to appeal. You know, they tell you a certain timeline. You just gotta, you gotta thug it out. (laughs) All right. You may not be able to put something in the marketplace, but again, just moving forward, how we comply is. We no longer want to post the ghost ads in the marketplace. So here's your alternative when it comes to posting ghost ads. What you want to do is you want to find the Facebook groups that you are already somewhat in, you know, whether it's buy, sell, trade, whether it's different, you know, real estate or rentals, whatever groups that you are leveraging, you want to go in those groups and you want to start discussions. All right. You don't want to actually post something for sale. You want to start discussions and in the discussions, that's where you actually want to take pictures of the house. You want to post more of a service. All right. You, you know, this is, if you're looking for affordable housing, you know, this is the service that I have explain what you have. If you're looking for rentals that way, if you're in different groups and you're just posting it as a discussion, you don't necessarily have anything for sale. And again, I knew that worked in the past, but we have to pivot. And so if you're going to leverage the Facebook marketplace, just put in discussions, you know, you can put generic pictures up of homes, but you basically want to be able to get the traffic and get people talking. So then that way for a lead magnet, you can either get them to PM you, right? So once you have them in the PM, you know, it's open for discussion. Or if you have a lead magnet where you want, where you're drawing emails, you know, um, as we talked about, whether it's a job form or Google form or whatever your form or your uh, CRM or whatever you're trying to get that, that lead to go to capture their information so you can continue to follow up. That's the, that's what you want to be able to leverage is now the discussions inside of Facebook groups, instead of the marketplace. All right. So I really hope this helped. Um, you know, if you, again, if you're in the marketplace and you see people asking questions, I think, I've, I mean, look, I ain't been on that in a while, but if you're able to see discussions on there, then you should also, you know, look into PM and them, but look in groups, right? A lot of times people are looking for rentals. People are looking for houses. They're putting, they're asking They're Hey, can somebody help me find this? And that's where you can pretty much come and definitely work those Facebook rooms, right? Facebook over, you know, billions of people on Facebook. We definitely want to be able to leverage that tool because it's one of the best tools out here, especially for mobile home investing. So y'all listen, I hope you definitely enjoy this episode, how we talked about, <laughs> listen, I got put in Facebook jail. How did I get out? I um, hope this is very, very valuable for you. Do me a favor. Make sure you subscribe to the podcast and share with a friend. All right. I know why you're on the, why you're on the road to the mobile home park. You can definitely listen to this podcast until next time. Y'all, y'all already know. Let's get it.